for C. Again, all common denominators, and they're all already factored. Some people will do this right away if they know that they're factored, which is fine. Okay? And then so we really just add or subtract our numerators depending on what it says. X squared plus 3X minus 10, so that's my new numerator. X squared plus 3X minus 10, that's my new numerator. My denominator stays as my X minus 2. Okay? Now I just go back to my 6.1. I factor this quadratic. Okay? I need factors of negative 10 that add together to get 3. They are 5 and 2. Yep, it's 2 and 5. And you need more positives because your 3 is positive. So you, your 5 will be positive. Okay? Then it will be x minus 2 is one factor. x plus 5 is the other factor. x minus 2 is still in my denominator. So those cancel. x minus 2 and x minus 2. My answer is x plus 5, comma, x cannot be... What can x not be? 2. Good. Okay? Now, when you look at this statement, x plus 5, it looks like, why can't x be 2? Isn't x plus 5, 2 plus 5, isn't that 7? Can't that be an answer? It looks like it can be, but I'll tell you, uh, way up here, if you remember, they're supposed to be equivalent, right? So the very first one, I would have never been allowed to put in 2. So let's, let's say this is a graph of y equals this expression. There would not be any data at 2 comma something. There would be no data there because you can't put in a 2. So my final answer has to have no data in it as well. 